Hello, hey, ooh. Hello, it's your boy from 1996. Welcome back to another episode of Low Standards. In this episode, we're tackling a game that I really should have gotten a long time ago in terms of trying the game out for the first time. Though I can, it's impossible that I'll ever find an actual arcade cabinet of this thing, so emulation is the best thing I can work with. Anyways, this is the Star Wars arcade game, the Atari version. In terms of when Atari decided to make some, Atari was making arcade games at the time being, this was also uh, ported to specifically the Atari 2600. This one acts. What? The force of you do always. Uh, but yeah, this is basically. Uh, let's go with Wave Three. But this is basically the arcade version of uh, of a New Hope in terms of like the gameplay. This is basically um, the final scene from the from the first Star Wars movie, with the Atari uh, like in a first-person perspective with uh, all its particles and polygons. You also see like the sounds of the uh, AT uh, uh, of the Tie Fighters. I went I went with uh, Wave Three in particular because you know this is uh, you have a lot more to deal with here besides just um, blasting close to get to the core. Well, yeah, this one is basically just uh, the entirety of um, a New Hope's battle from, like, like, if you were playing something more modern or at least familiar, like the uh, the Battle Pods, I think that's what it's called for Star Wars. But for me, it reminds me a lot of the um, Episode 4 uh, level of the Star Wars Trilogy Arcade game. In terms Why of you doing to the power? I'm not doing great. I'm dying a lot. In fact, my shield's a 1 now. I, it's hard to see the score. I probably should just do wave one so I can at least destroy the Death Star once. This game is uh, interesting to say the least, but it's, it's not something new to talk about. Besides, it's uh, an interesting game to use. I lost R2. Oh well, I lost R2. I died. I'm sorry, R2. All these voices. Let's just go with easy because you, you immediately get to the uh, you immediately get to the um, you immediately get to the. Uh, tunnel section if you just do the first wave rather than going to the, the uh, laser towers first. Also, I think in lit in the lit in the uh, different difficulties, you can also face off against Dark Vader's Tie Fighter. I think it gets harder if you be after be just right to start the first time. It's just it's it, since it's a really old arcade game. I think this is like either start of the 80s, if not early, like late 70s. Especially since it's Atari of all things. But, um, in particular with this game, uh, I would say late 70s because that's when Star Wars starting. But, um, shoot, I keep forgetting the words. It's a lot more easier to work with if you're choosing the first wave. It's it's very impressive. Oh, I missed the exhaust port. Uh, oops. That was supposed to be Han Solo telling me to shoot it. Is there a different button to shoot the bomb? No, I think it's just shooting it there in the target. Sorry, I did. sorry I missed the first time, uh, Ben. I did it! Can I explode? Yeah! That classic, ooh, that classic uh, Death Star explosion. Uh oh. I we just basically do a full repeat afterwards, just to say if you add more sections to it if you're doing the harder difficulties. But yeah, that's it for the Star Wars uh, original arcade game. It's pretty fun. Kind of hard to control because there's no doubt we was using a. Um... Oh, there's Darth Vader. Did I shoot him? I can't even tell if I shot him. Oh, I, I think I missed a chance on you. I didn't even get a chance to even shoot him. Oh, now we're doing with the turret section, but now it's just these little potholes that shoots uh, these proton torpedoes at you. I'm assuming that's what it is. It's just, it's just enemy fire in the end. I really wish I could do the arcade game, but my phone can't process that. Or the emulator that I have can't process that either. 
But anyways, that's it for this episode. I don't really need to do anything else. So just go to the Death Star, go through all the passes, and blow it the F up. Nothing more explanatory than that. It's just the uh, like one section of the Sega arcade game, but before Sega actually decided to entirely make that. Well, anyways, I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye. It's gonna crash.